As the 28th radio, we will do about the 12th lesson in grade 9 syllabus, Biodiversity. You didn't subscribe our channel yet? Subscribe us now to get more videos like this. First, we discuss about what biodiversity means. Living organisms are living in our surroundings. Our surrounding is called as environment. Parts of the environment is called as the ecosystems. You can see in these pictures some types of ecosystems. Now, we see what are the examples for ecosystems. A forest, a beach, a grassland, and a paddy field are some ecosystems found in our surroundings. Ecosystem diversity Diversity among ecosystems is known as ecosystem diversity. This diversity can be seen by living and non-living components in particular ecosystems. Then about species diversity in ecosystems, we can see different living organisms. They have different morphological changes. Having different morphological features in various living organisms in an ecosystem referred to as species diversity. Genetic diversity Having different external features in a certain species or less genetic diversity. The reason for the differences of certain species is genetic diversity. You can see different types of genetic changes from these pictures. Importance of Biodiversity Maintaining the equilibrium of the ecosystem. Reduce the competition among living organisms for basic requirements. Maintain the beauty of the environment. Maintaining factors and conditions for abiotic environments. Getting wild types genes in agricultural field for taking pets free, disease free house. Threats to Biodiversity Destroying of biodiversity known as biodegradation The reasons for biodegradation can be discussed under two topics First one is natural factors and second one is artificial factors Natural reasons for biodegradation 
natural disasters like volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunami, wildfire, droughts, landslides, and floods are some natural reasons for biodegradation. Examples for biodegradation occurs in past are extinction of dinosaurs due to collapsing of meteors, extinction of mammoth due to melting of ice under global warming. Artificial factors of human activities are Rapid deforestation Construction of buildings destructing the environment Overuse of resources Spreading invasive organisms in an ecosystem Introducing genetically modified organisms Destroying of ozone layer and climatic change Then we will pay attention to how we conserve biodiversity. Protecting organisms in their living place. It is called as in situ conservation. Establishing of national parks and botanical gardens. Protecting indigenous species. Important features of ecosystems Interaction between living components and non-living components The examples are Living-living relationships Living-non-living relationships And non-living-non-living relationships Materials are recycled Examples are Water, Carbon and Nitrogen in the ecosystem, energy is transmitting to one direction. Example Grass to grasshopper, grasshopper to frog, frog to snake. Now we move to the interaction between living components, living living relationships. The basic requirements in living-living relationships are food, security, and reproduction. Examples are herbivorous depend on plant materials, carnivorous depend on other animals, and small fish live in tentacles of sea animals. Now about living non living relationships. The living non living relationships are fish are living in water, plant roots absorb water from the soil, plants fix onto the soil, plants using solar energy for photosynthesis, animals doing breathing with oxygen. Non-living, non-living relationships The relation of non-living thing to non-living thing called as non-living, non-living relationships Soil erosion by water Weathering of rocks by water and heat Then we will show you the ecosystems in Sri Lanka. Ecosystems in Sri Lanka are divided to natural and man-made ecosystems. Natural ecosystems are divided to natural aquatic and terrestrial environments. Examples for aquatic ecosystems are Freshwater, marine and brackish water. Terrestrial environments are Forests, 
and grasslands. And last, the man-made ecosystems are agricultural ecosystems, industrial ecosystems, and human settlements. First about natural aquatic ecosystem. Importance of river soil. Fulfillment of water needs in agriculture. Generating hydropower for transportation. Then about texture. The place where the river falls to the sea is known as an estuary. Example for the estuary. The estuary of Mahavali opens to Kotiyal Bay and Tambalagam Bay. Importance of estuary are Preventing the mixing of marine and fresh water Rich in biodiversity and abundance of fish species with economic importance. After about lagoon. A lagoon is a shallow body of brackish water permanently separated from the sea but connected with the sea at one time during the year. Examples for lagoons are Nigambu Lagoon, Batikalo Lagoon, Puttalam Lagoon The importance of lagoon are Used for fishing purposes Mangrove plants located on lagoons prevent sea erosion Tourist attractive place The river rain environment The environment on either sides of the river to the point where it flows to the sea is known as the river rhine environment. Example for the river rhine environment is Mahavali flood plain at east. The importance of river rhine environment are using for inland fishing industry, soil using for tile and brick industry. The soil is very fertile. The inland water is years. Naturally formed lakes and ponds belong to inland water reservoirs. Examples for inland water reservoirs are Parakram Samudra and Palavel. The importance of inland water reservoirs are providing water for agriculture and use for inland fishery industry. Then about ocean. Marine areas that covers most of the Earth's surface is known as an ocean. Indian, Atlantic, Arctic and Pacific are the examples for oceans. The importance of oceans are for fishing industry, towards attractive place, Generate electricity by the waves of ocean, rich in biodiversity, and produce salt by water in the ocean. Wetlands Marshy lands that are covered with water during a long period of time, known as wetlands. Examples for wetlands are Anavilundava and Muthulaja Veda. Importance of wetlands are Control flood Minimize climatic changes Using for tourism industry Making new pressure brown water Now we will show about Natural terrestrial environment First about forests there is a warm, wet climate with the rainfall throughout the year. This use 2000 mm of annual rainfall and located in areas with an elevation up to 
300 meters. The examples are Simhadaja, Kanneliya and Dadiagal. The importance of forests are Common endemic plants and animal species acts as a catchment area and protects the water resources of a country. Other natural terrestrial environments are monsoon forests, grasslands, mountain forests, dry mixed evergreen forests. The man-made ecosystems are agricultural environments, industrial environments, and settlement environment. First, about agricultural environments. An ecosystem designed for cultivation of crops and animal husbandry to fulfill the food requirement known as an agricultural environment. The special feature of an agricultural land are one type of crop in entire land or limited types of crops. Natural conditions are provided artificially easily affected by pest attack and limited animals. Then about industrial environment. Adverse effects from industrial environments heavy, noisy in the environment, releasing poisonous gases, releasing harmful chemicals, and contamination of water bodies. Last about settlement environments. A rural or urban environment where the man established known as an settlement environment. Problems arisen due to improper settlements. Reduce the space. Bloody. Not have enough space. Difficult to remove household garbage. And spreading diseases easily. And less ventilation. You can answer these questions in comment section. Mention the three types of diversity related to biodiversity. What are the natural threats for biodiversity? What are the living living relationships? Mention the natural aquatic ecosystems. What are the man made ecosystems? Thank you for watching our video. Goodbye all.